Here I am, folks, back again to show you this uh, ironless monopole motor. Uh, once again, I'm going to point out that uh, we have made new bearings here, and they're bronze on that little spindle there. Things moving at a pretty good pace on this uh, rock battery, I call it. But we found out some uh, interesting things with it. The iron pyrite battery, I was using distilled water in it, and I noticed uh, the oxygen was building up on the magnesium. So, just like in a copper chloride battery, if you add copper chloride to it, um, it allows more oxygen to the negative plate which then increases the current. So I did that. I put just a little crystal of calcium chloride, just a little crystal, because all it took was underneath there. So if I took the battery out and showed you, you see that piece of paper there? And I'll just take this crystal and put it in there, and that's where I'm going to put it. I'll put it right back on top of the magnesium like that. It's going to free up the oxygen. So now the battery is developing current, more current, and so the motor is going faster and faster and faster. It's almost going backwards on this camera because of the lights, but it's actually moving pretty fast. And the timing is just a little bit different. It's a little bit forward on the coil because of the magnets I'm using. And here's some interesting things on the scope. Here's the waveform. And if I expand this up, and I bring this out, and I freeze frame this, let's see if I can get a good picture of it for you. I freeze frame this right here. See the ring? I'll let it go and I'll try to catch another one here. There we go. Now we've caught one and you can see it ring out and then we'll just bring down the level. We'll move it over. That's the trigger line. See how it rings out. And that's what's in the spikes. So now if we stop it and go back, all you see is a series of spikes. Sorry about the lighting on this. And we'll expand that up. We'll freeze it so you can see the wave. And that's about what it looks like. And if you look at this down here, I wish I could get this much clearer, but it's kind of hard to do. Um, it's actually giving us the voltage down here, and it says 2.10 volts peak to peak. So if we come down here, that's the 2 volt scale. There's the 5 volt scale. So here's the motor. We'll bring it in. We'll bring the trigger down so we can trigger it. and we'll catch it and that's what she looks like but anyway there it is running away and it's really going real fast so I'll stop it there and I'll let it go and you can see it just take off here Once again, 
it's a rock battery it's a real piece of iron pyrite and it's just sitting down there on that paper towel on top of the magnesium and then by adding the calcium chloride frees up the oxygen so that uh, you can get current in the battery so it's just a little bit of calcium chloride and distilled water and some magnesium and what they term as fool's gold iron pyrite so I'll let you have a look at that wave again see if I can catch it a little bit better it's kind of erratic so I'll put the uh, the LED on there so I can catch it and I'll see what I can do with the trigger here there we go and there's your waveform freeze it there, expand it out so you can see that little edge where it's triggering, it's triggering on this, and see the ring appears right behind the edge. So freeze it there, bring it out. have the digital scope move it over expand it out so you can see the ring and that's basically what we have with this iron this is when it's hitting the diode and clamping off right here that's the red flash in this diode which is right there trying to get this as close as I can get it but unfortunately the camera wants to focus on white and everything's white so there's what it looks like and we'll unfreeze it and I'll put the trigger up And there you have it. There's the waveform of this motor running on a rock battery. And I'm capturing all these different waveforms because each battery gives you just a little bit different waveform. So I'll let you see that again. And you can see here you can follow the clip leads, nothing hidden right to the rocks right there so thanks for watching